Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful lesson where we are going to look at uh, calculating mass, molar mass, and moles. So these are wonderful questions that will help you. These are wonderful questions that will enlighten your mind on how to go about questions that get to come in an exam in this manner. So if you are new to this platform, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow this page or channel. So the first question is saying, find the mass of 0.2 moles of ammonia molecules. This is the first question that we are given here. The next question is saying, how many moles of potassium are there in 3.9 grams of potassium? Then we also have this other last question that is saying, calculate the molar mass of 2.5 moles of a substance X weighing 100, so it's supposed to be 100 grams. This is a question that we are given. So now, the three questions are simple, and these are questions that will just enlighten you on how to go about such questions in an exam. So I'm going to be as brief as I can, but not forgetting important parts. So the first question is saying, what is the mass? So for you to answer a question like this in an exam, you need to know this. You need to know that the number of moles are equal to the word mass over molar mass. This is a formula we get to use. So this one there, that is the mass. This is the formula we are going to use to answer all these questions that are here. So you need to know this. This is the formula. Have you seen? This is the formula we are going to use. That is the mass. That is the molar mass. So the first question, what are we told to find? So that is uh, the first question. What are we told to find? We are told to find what? Mass. If the number of moles are what? 0 0.2 moles. So the number of moles, I need to find mass. So meaning that mass is equal to, I put a 1 there, then I cross multiply. So M times 1, that is 1. The number of moles times molar mass, like this. So this is a particular formula I'm going to use. Where I'm going to say that this is equal to, the number of moles, it is what? 0 point two i say multiplied by more mass the question is saying what ammonia molecules so what i'm going to do okay ammonia how is ammonia ammonia is like this so i'm also teaching you how to calculate the molecular mass if you are taught to calculate the molecular mass these are procedures that you are supposed to do you say, okay, this is how many atoms of hydrogens are there? Three times what is the mass number? One. I go to that one. How many atoms of nitrogen? One. Times what is the mass number? Fourteen. So I say this is now equal to. So this is what I'm going to do. This is something that I'll be doing. So this is three. This one will be fourteen. If I add the two, what answer am I getting? I'm getting 17 grams per mole. That is the what? That is the molar mass. That is the molar mass I'm getting. So I put it here. I multiply. I'll just say times 17. So what answer am I getting there? Meaning mass is therefore equal to. So if you get your calculator, you multiply. So you get your calculator. You say 0 0.2 times 17. What answer are we getting times 17? The answer we are getting is 3.4. So the answer there is 3.4 grams. This is the answer. So the answer you put it in grams. If you want to convert to kg, but chemistry, you know that answers are put in grams. So this is what you are supposed to know. This is something you need to know and understand. Let us now move on to the next question. I guess you've read something. So what I've told you is that the first thing, know how to know this formula. Then you just sub, you are just substituting. Let us look at the next one. 
which happens to be our second uh, question. The second question is saying, how many moles of potassium are there in 3.9 grams of potassium? So they're telling you how many moles. The formula is number of moles is equal to what? Mass over molar mass. You know that number of moles are equal to what is the mass? What is the mass? We are given the mass is what? 3.9 times what is the molar mass? The molar mass of what? Potassium. So the molar mass of potassium. What is the molar mass for potassium? The molar mass is just the same as the mass number of potassium, which happens to be what? 39. So we are just multiplying. I'm forgetting to put units here so that we don't get confused. So what is the answer there? What answer are we going to get? You say 3.9 times 39. What answer are you getting? The answer that we are going to get is this answer. So I mean here we divide. So not multiplying, we divide. So we are saying n is equal to the mass is 3.9 over. We are dividing. What is the molar mass? We've said it is 39. So which is equal to? We divide. We say 3.9 divide 39. What is the answer? 0 0.1. 0 0.1 moles. So this is the answer that you are going to get. This is the answer you need to find there. The last question is saying that calculate the molar mass. They want you to calculate now the what? The molar mass. Have you seen the relationship that is there? If you cross multiply here, we say mass is equal to what? Number of moles times molar mass. So we divide both sides by number of moles so that we just uh, get to have uh, the molar mass there, number of moles. This and that will cancel. Where we are going to have molar mass is equal to mass over number of moles. Where we say this is equal to what is the mass? We are given it is 100 over the number of moles 2.5. What answer are we going to get there if we divide? So 100 divide 2.5. What is the answer? The answer is 40. So you just say 40, the units grams per mole. So this is the answer that you are going to get. Certain questions can even move forward and tell you to say, what is the name of this substance X? So this is 40. You go on the periodic table. You check the element that has got the proton number 40. So you check, okay, some uh, that has got the, not the proton number, but the mass number. So we focus on the mass number. So the mass number or the neutron number. So this is something you need to know. This is something you need to get and understand. Hope you've seen how we've calculated. So this one happens to be calcium. So substance X is called calcium. This is Harrisonite Learning Academy. So we do offer some online tuitions. If you are interested in starting, you can uh, WhatsApp me on the number that I'm going to leave here, which is plus 2609710667467. This is my number. So this is my number. You can WhatsApp me on this number if you really want to join. We offer mathematics, chemistry, physics, and biology tuitions, online tuitions. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.